Greetings, fans. Welcome to Cooking with a Side of Snide. It's been a long time, but I'm back. First, I must show you my new Bosch cooktop. It is so incredibly beautiful. Look at it. There it is, right behind me. Smooth. No buttons. No knobs. Well, it has buttons because you have to turn it on, but... It has no knobs that I have to clean around and make me crazy. No more Ajita. And I will be using that in tonight's video. See you soon. I'm back. So tonight, I am going to make taco tomatoes. This is a great recipe because it doesn't have any carbs in it. So if you're doing a carb, low carb or, you know, carb free, keto keto whatever that is diet this is perfect and i also love it because the actual recipe only requires four ingredients tomatoes obviously ground protein of your choice this is 90 percent lean uh, ground beef from wegmans but you could use chicken you could use pork you could use turkey you could use veal you could use tofu you could use seitan, anything that you like. If you don't eat meat, there's um, also that, what's it called? It's that fake meat, it's called something, I don't know. Oh my gosh, I can't remember what it's called, but it's delicious. If I think of it during the recipe, I'll tell you what it's called. And um, of course, pansies must be featured, bold taco seasoning, and a little bit of olive oil, impossible burger, that's what it's called. You could use that meat-free. And extra virgin olive oil. Um, so I will be back shortly with the recipe. Okay. So now the first thing I'm going to do is prepare the tomato. Okay. I got to put this back a little bit because you can't see what the heck I'm doing. All right. So I have my beautiful Jersey tomato that I bought at Gentilly's produce market in Newtown square. And this handy dandy little thing back in the day, this was called a tomato shark, but a now it's called the Messermeister. Apparently I have the German version of a tomato shark. And it's got these little sharp little teeth. Isn't that great? And what you do is you stick it in the core of the tomato. <clears throat> Shistle it around a little bit. There's a Norma word for you. And it pulls the core right out like that. And you just get rid of the core. Now, the thing is here, you're going to cut. I'm going to do this into like six pieces uh, or thereabouts. But you don't want to cut all the way through. You'll cut about three quarters of the way down. You can sort of see what I'm doing there. Yeah, almost, almost all the way down and then just sort of eyeball it here on making it into six. This is going to be very imprecise. Fake cooking show, don't forget. And okay, so now it's not cut all the way through, but then what you want to do is you want to open it up on the plate, kind of like a flower, like a tomato flower, making a little tomato flower here. And that is how, uh, how you prep the tomato. And actually, I'm going to put a little bit of salt on there. Okay, so I lied. There's one other ingredient. Um, just just going to salt it a little bit. So it's got a little extra salt on it because tomatoes, you know, they need salt. All right, so that's the, that's the tomato preparation. It's super, super simple. So you may be wondering why it is that I decided after months of silence to suddenly do another cooking video. Well... Cooking with a side of snide is a child of the pandemic, and it appears that the freaking pandemic is never gonna end. So I'm back to making my videos while Jose practices. And I would like to say that if you live in a country where you can get a vaccine, go get the damn vaccine, please. I'm, a, I'm an opera coach by my, uh, for, for a living. That's what I do for a living, in case you didn't know that. And I would really like my singers to go back to work. So get your vaccine and put your masks on. Okay, so that was my little political thing. Sorry about that, but whatever, get a vaccine. Next, we're gonna prepare the ground, mine is ground beef. It's about a pound of 90% lean ground beef. Again, whatever your protein choice is, is fine. Put a little olive oil in the pan. Oh, watch this, this is the best thing. This is how I turn on my, my new stove top. Ding, ding, ah, and it's on. I'm bringing the camera closer so you can see. It's warm enough, look, it's getting red. All right, 
So really, this part is uh, pretty super simple. You know, put that, heat up the uh, oil, olive oil in the pan. You dump your ground protein in, and you start breaking it up with a spatula. And as it cooks, we're going to sprinkle it with my Penzi's Bold Taco Seasoning. So I'm gonna let that get started and I'll be back and show you how to do that. So as you can hear, I hope, the beef is sizzling away over here. I'm gonna break it up as it browns. And uh, as it browns, we're gonna throw in this Penzi's Bold Taco Seasoning. Um, I like it a lot, so I'm gonna just dump it in. I'm not even gonna measure it because who cares? This is a fake cooking show. Fake cooking show. Fake cooking show. Threw a bunch in there. Um, you don't need any extra salt because that's very salty already. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little more. There we go. All right. Ah, good. Yum stuff. Yummy, yummy stuff. All right. Then you just um, let that finish browning until so it's uh, no more, no longer pink. Sizzle, sizzle, sizzle. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Oh my God, that smells good. And uh, that's essentially the recipe. What I'm going to do when it's completely cooked through is I'm going to take the, the split it into two parts and simply put it into the middle of my little tomato flour. And, and that's really it. And I'm going to serve it with some, uh, let's see, I have some Wegmans fat-free yogurt and Weg you know they should pay me really Wegmans Wegmans 2% Mexican cheese if you want to put something on top to make it more like a real taco and that's really it so um, I'll show you what it looks like when it's all done bye okay so I actually lied because I'm not going to show you what it looks like on the tomato because you're just going to have to use your imagination but there's the cooked meat just dump it into the middle of the flour and serve it with Accoutrement of your choice. I'm going to use that yogurt and the cheese, and it should be very, very delicious. And it's what I consider a complete meal. There's no carbs, but you know that's okay. We're all trying to cut down on carbs. So, um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this edition of Cooking with a Side of Snide, and hopefully we'll have a few more. You know, um, even if the pandemic ends someday, maybe I'll just keep making crazy videos because what the heck, right? Bon appetit. Bye.